What's going on, fellow YouTubers? What's happening? Let me shut this. Let me shut off my APU real quick. It's a big APU. I think it uses like two gallons an hour to run. It's massive. It also happens to move my truck forward. So, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. I am working on coming off a cold. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. So, uh, my little brother back home tried to get me sick. You know, they just started school. He's bringing home all kinds of germs when I was over to visit my folks. <coughs> so, I apologize for that. Of course, you know, you feel fine. You got no phlegm or nothing. You start doing a video and then it all comes at you, right? So, I'm going to post a video here. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I feel like it's... I, I feel like I need to give it some context because I don't want to come off as like a hater against other drivers. Uh, I was, I had shortly before I was walking my dog and saw this over here, these trailers with this moving billboard on it. You know, I was backed into a spot. I'd been here for maybe an hour. I'd had four guys back in next to me. You know, reserve spots, there's no spots left. There were, there was a spot open to my right. People kept backing in and going inside to get a ticket and find out that there is no reserve spots left. And then, you know, coming back out and leaving. And I had just had to stop a guy. Literally, he was just going to back right into my truck. I, I literally jumped out of the truck and ran up there waving my arms. Or I would be sitting here with a busted up front end. And uh, so we're out here every day as drivers and, and we see the crazy stuff that goes on out here on the road from both four wheelers and other drivers. And then and in the shippers and the receivers and, and the truck stops. And it seems like today, nowadays, um, society, the government, <coughs> whatever it is uh the industry is just making it because they're they're hurting for drivers so bad that they'll take anybody with a pulse and to me i consider myself to be a professional driver i think that driving a uh, a tractor trailer uh over the road or in any facet is considered a profession and you should be a professional at it you do you have a certain responsibility uh, to not only make sure that you're safe, but that you're you're well trained and you know what you're doing, so that people around you uh, are also safe? You know what I mean? Because when one of these things wrecks into something, you're going to do a lot more damage, especially loaded or empty, than any four wheeler can think about doing. Um, that's just I mean, you see it on the news. So to me, I take this job very seriously. I love my job. Uh, I feel I'm pretty good at it. And to me, it is a profession. It is not something that, oh, anybody can drive a truck. Not everybody can be a doctor. Not everybody can be, you know, a sports athlete. Not everybody can be a truck driver. And I think that people have that mentality, not only the general public, they think our job is just sitting in this seat all day. When really, if you do it, there's so much more to it, especially for owner operators on the business side and then just the driving side. We deal with all different types of traffic, uh, roads we've never been on before that somebody might drive down every day. It might be our first day on it ever. Uh, you know, cities, you got pedestrians, you've got weather. Uh, you know, you've got loads, you know, if you shift and load and, you know, all, there's so much that comes with it to get from point A to point B safely. Um, and like I've always said, we do the impossible for the ungrateful because as a society, people just think that if you're a truck driver, you're fat and lazy and your job's so easy, anybody can do it. Yet when there is a accident out here involving a tractor trailer, you know hitting a bus or rolling over or you know 
anything and it involves a tractor trailer the it seems like the public and the government comes out and just classifies us all as one and you know we need more safety features for the trucks to and, and they come out and they say this and it's not to keep you safer as a driver it's to keep the people around you safer and to me that says that you don't think i know how to drive this this truck um and i believe that there are guys out here who don't know how to drive it you heard the same people some people can't walk and chew gum at the same time some people can't drive a truck not one of these not not efficiently and do it well and then you have accidents that involve you know injuries and deaths and everything else and you know they want more safety features or you know you talk to some of these people out here you know these four-wheelers know nothing about trucks and they are all excited about electric trucks uh, and uh, and autonomous vehicles because it thinks it's gonna keep them safe you know so I feel like the whole training thing is broken from the ground up and that's really what I'm trying to say in this video I don't mean to drag this out so long I just I don't want you guys to be upset with me like I said I was pretty heated it was hot outside I just got a shower I've had a time to think about it I'm not trying to say that note that certain people or any you know everybody only certain few can drive a truck I'm saying that the regulations to get a CDL need to be a lot stricter and you know the training needs to be a lot more drawn out and intense before you get the cdl because once somebody has a cdl they're going to find a company to get them a truck you know because everybody's hurting for drivers they're going to find a company to give them a truck and put them on the road and eventually they're going to have an accident and they're going to hurt somebody and then the public is going to come out and say it's truckers a truck driver that's when they come out they say a truck driver ran across the median and killed a busload of nuts it's not this driver in this company they classify us as a whole so I feel like it's broken from the bottom up I feel like you can you know people think they can get their CDL out of a Cracker Jack box and then you've got companies out here with these schools and what like what I saw today and basically yeah that's how it really is anybody with a pulse can get a CDL nowadays and I'm not trying to be rude or racist or anything like that but the simple fact is is that some people shouldn't have a CDL I could train and become a doctor and somebody else could train right next to me and become a doctor and they might have a natural talent for it and just be much better at it and they'll always be a better doctor and we might have got the same training just because I mean if you went through truck driving school like I did you knew half the people in your class probably shouldn't have got a CDL but they got one anyway it looks like I got a black eye this whole time and uh, it's because we can't say no we can't hurt anybody's feelings we can't say hey you need more training before you get this CDL because once that is the last line of defense in my opinion is that license because once you've got it if you have enough money you can just start up your own gig and nobody can tell you and unfortunately there's a lot of guys out here that they have that type of money they've never driven a truck they don't have to go through training with Warner or Swift or Schneider or something like that where they put rookies through training for you know extensive uh, so many number of hours before they put them in a truck by themselves they they do the bare minimum to pass the test they're not very good at driving they buy a truck and a trailer and start their own authority and they're going up and down the road with you and me trying to run us off the road and and hit us and everybody else so i'll let y'all get to this video and uh i hope you enjoy and we'll catch y'all on the next one youtube Thanks. what's going on i gotta do this on the phone all right I apologize for all the background noise. You got the Interstate I-30 back there. We're at the TA in Rockwall. Um, I had to do. I got to do this video. I'm so. I'm. I'm. Not, I'm like pissed off, and I'm also kind of in shock that it has become this easy to get your CDL. And it explains. You seeing something like this? Gosh damn crickets. 
so, seeing something like this explains it should explain it easy why your trucks get hit in the parking lot why guys friggin roll into the median they flip over trucks they run over stuff at shippers and receivers including your trucks people they drive off with forklifts in the back of their damn truck because it is so easy to get your cdl nowadays it's almost unbelievable it's almost hard to believe that it can be this easy now let me show you what i'm talking about look at this your one stop your one stop cdl shop cdl truck rentals class a and b rentals automatics and standards so fuck it if you can't drive a, a stick we got an automatic for you pre-trip and backing and road test we have the actual questions and answers to the written test on our website so go to their website and you just take the test over and over and over again until you can pass it and then bob's your uncle rent this truck which is not even it's not even a full it's not an eighty thousand pound truck this is like what tow trucks you know flatbed tow trucks use these kind of little freight liners okay they're like go gvw up to twenty six thousand pounds i think but they got air brakes on them and it's a combination vehicle I guess, and it tells you right here, we are not a school, we offer a less expensive alternative to truck driving schools. I mean, I went through a truck driving school. They didn't teach me crap. Uh, you know, the, uh, I shouldn't say that, I shouldn't say that, okay? I picked up some good tips, but they are just a mill to run you through until you get enough right to pass your test. So three weeks is already not long enough. Look at this. Rent me will beat any competitor's price. So what's it cost? What, what is this? You know, this is the only good thing they got going for them. At least they're warning people. Caution, student, driver, no survivors. You know what I mean? I mean, what's going on? I, I just don't get it. Look, this is a 20, what? This is a 28 foot trailer, single axle truck. And it's not even full, it's not even a full rig. That's what they have. They got one here, they got one here, they got one there. They got another truck, an actual sleeper truck on the other side, but it's hooked to a 28 footer. So you get your CDL in this, but you, 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 you gotta, you're getting a truck that's twice the size with a trailer that's almost twice the length. And we wonder why people have accidents. Alrighty guys, there's my rant. I'm sorry, I had to do it. I mean, something has to be done. You can't just blame the trainers and blame the companies the states need to step it up and make it harder to get your cdl you know all right guys sorry about that had some people come up and uh some guys walking over and i talked to them for a minute about this i kind of need to woosaw a little bit man you know because i mean i can't tell you how many times i've jumped out of my truck to save it from getting hit by somebody who can't back straight up uh you know, or how many times I've seen another driver run over a sign, you know, or take out some landscaping. You know, you see it on YouTube. You can look at it all day long, trying to do U-turns on two lane roads. You know, they're rolling trucks over, they're killing people, they're falling asleep at the wheel. And it's like, I feel if we would make it more difficult to obtain a CDL, uh, we, we would have a lot less incidences out here and now they're talking about lowering the age from 21 to 18 to be able to drive interstate you know across the country and i feel like that's going to open up even more of a wormhole and it's like you can't have it both ways we're so afraid to hurt somebody's feelings and tell somebody no but we want to we want to protect the general public so you get somebody who can't drive I've met guys I, I my buddy's a trainer he's had guys he says 50 50 shot he's had guys in there you just can't train they can't drive a combination vehicle it's unsafe they can't get it some people can't walk and chew gum at the same time so, unfortunately some people cannot drive a tractor trailer they shouldn't be allowed to drive a tractor trailer and those people need to be told sorry you, you know you're not gonna get a CDL not here and and then they get out there they, they they get the cdl they find some company out there one of these big companies 
they're going to get enough right to where they're going to get out there on the road by themselves. And then the government wants to say, oh, we need to put speed limiters on these trucks, on all commercial vehicles. You know, we need those eagle eyes in the front to maintain distance. You know, a autonomous trucks. But you, know, you know why they want autonomous trucks? Because they want nobody out here but steering wheel holders, you know, to sit in that seat, get fat, watch Netflix while the truck does all the driving because we can't drive without injuring the motoring public. And you want to know why? It's because of shit like this right here. To, to go on the internet and watch some YouTube videos and take a bunch of tests over and over and over again and they go rent a little pup truck. I got a gooseneck at home that's longer than this trailer. It's got more axles on it. Okay? And go out and take a road test and then get a commercial driver's license to come out here and drive one of those big suckers that just went by in the background, two of them, down the road at any speed baffles me so when the government is ready to start saying no to some people and putting it some some stricter guidelines at the start because it's broken from the bottom up you can't just blame these big companies you can't just blame the trainers there it's got to start at the bottom at the states and the schools and all that and all that that just making it so easy to get a CDL and they're just farming these guys out. What we need is stricter rules and tougher regulations to even get the CDL in the first place. Yes, that's going to make a long line. Yes, that's going to put a, a strain on freight and everything else because we're already short drivers. But come on guys, on the daily, you see, we see accidents out here. Um, we're involving a, a tractor trailer you know i've seen guys rolling down a road with blown tires have no clue i saw a truck today going down a road with his lights he had his running lights on and his headlights on and they're just flickering 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 because the switch was bad or there was a short on a wire i hollered at him of course he's got no cb he just kept on going in a truck that was literally held together with bailing wire all over the road this guy and today alone, I had to get out and stop a guy. Please stop, you're gonna hit my truck. And I moved over to the left so that he could get straightened back out. Guys, it was a straight back. And that's just today. So, I, uh, I obviously, I don't mean to come off as like a rant kind of video. I just, something I'm very passionate about. And I just wish that we would come up with a way to make it harder to get your CDL so that right out of the gate you get a better quality <coughs> excuse me I'm coming off a of cold a better quality of driver before they get out here on the road and they start intermingling with everybody else and all the real world BS that we put up on a day-to-day -day basis so I appreciate y'all for watching as always stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you on the next one